eight or nine years ago, uh, before I had ever spoken at Esalen, uh, or anywhere for that matter, Kat uh, described me once as somebody who wants to rule the world without leaving their own living room. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> So what? <laughs> but I really believe that the best idea will win and that the obligation incumbent upon every one of us is to just give it your best shot. And when I hear a winning idea in any field, I feel like I just have a real nose for it. And uh, it's a wonderful feeling to recognize uh, you know, people like William Gibson, Tom Robbins in another dimension, Rupert Sheldrake, Ralph Abraham, uh, Rian Eisler, uh, wonderful men and women who uh, really love truth and who feel like a fraternity. And the edges are fuzzily defined. New people are coming in. Every single one of you brings tremendous richness to this process. I mean, we really learn a great deal. I, I really almost see myself as a coordinator of information. I mean, a networker, not among people, but among ideas and schools and pieces of information. You just bring it together and put it uh, put it back. And this is how this cohesion arises. This is how we lose the fear of each other that makes the ego possible and how we lose uh, the fear of the future that makes political solutions impossible. I mean, we just have to get to know ourselves and each other. And as this process moves forward, I think all barriers will fall for us. This is not the last moment of what has been a glorious experiment now gone awry. This is in fact uh, the last moments before real civilization. And we're about to move out of the Neolithic and into a broader horizon of human becoming that will unite our aspirations and our hopes with the energy of imagination. And we will, you know, create and experience and become on a scale that we can very dimly imagine. We are involved in redefining for the entire universe what is possible, stretching the envelope, every work of art, every yet clearer statement of how it is stretches uh, the size and the limits of the entire universe. We are uh, formative in this tremendous cosmic process that is going on around us. We are not spectators. We are, in fact, somehow centrally spun in to the plot and anticipating the way in which we're spun into the plot and what the denouement shall be is, I think, the great intellectual adventure of post-history. <laughs>